Water towers are all around us. They rarely draw our attention, but these inconspicuous towers are some of the most important pieces of infrastructure that support our communities and our cities. But not all water towers are built equal. Many different styles of towers exist, each with their own set of advantages and drawbacks. In this short video, we're going to highlight some of the most popular water tower designs, cataloging their strengths and their weaknesses. Starting off is one of America's most common towers, the double ellipsoidal elevated tank. This type of tank is relatively inexpensive to purchase compared to other elevated tanks and draws its name from the unique shape of the roof and the underbelly of the tank. In its modern iteration, the double ellipsoidal elevated tank stores between 50,000 and 150,000 gallons of water. However, if capacity is your biggest concern, look no further than the radial cone elevated tank. This behemoth of a water tower modifies the basic double ellipsoidal design and is able to store between 500,000 and 2.5 million gallons of water. However, this massive capacity comes at a price, since the radial cone is the most expensive legged-style welded elevated water tower to maintain. Up next is America's most popular style of legged elevated tank, the Taurus Bottomed Elevated Tank. This tank is an alternative take on the double ellipsoidal design. The tank bowl has been modified where the tank bowl meets the riser pipe, and the top of the riser pipe flares into a cone shape where it meets the tank bowl. This design change makes the tank bowl self-supporting. One of the most unique styles of water tower is the tripod elevated tank. The simplistic design of the tripod legs makes this tank the least expensive elevated tank to build. However, it is a relatively low capacity tank, with most models ranging between 15,000 and 100,000 gallons. Another tower that is relatively inexpensive to maintain is the pedosphere elevated tank. Gaining popularity in the 1960s due to its modern design, this tank is inexpensive to maintain and particularly suitable for beach locations due to the minimal amount of structural steel on the exterior of the tank. This style of tank may also offer more security against unauthorized climbing or trespassing because the tank ladder is found on the interior of the column, only accessible through a locked steel door. A similar style tank is the single fluted column, otherwise known as a hydro pillar. The single fluted column elevated tank is generally a large capacity water tank. While standard capacities range between 250,000 gallons and 3 million gallons, most common capacities are between 500,000 gallons and 2 million gallons. The three largest water towers in the world, with capacities of over 4 million gallons, all sport this single fluted column design. That brings us to the newest style of elevated tank, the composite elevated tank. First introduced in Canada in the 1970s and 80s, the composite elevated tank is a fluted column style in which the column is concrete and the water tank on top is steel. This style tank is renowned for its cost efficiency, being the least expensive elevated tank style to maintain. All of the tanks discussed thus far have been elevated tanks. These are usually the tanks that people think of when they consider water storage options. However, they are certainly not the only style of water storage tank available. Steel ground storage tanks are among the simplest of designs when it comes to water tanks. Occasionally shorter than they are wide, they naturally create less water system pressure due to their short stature. This is often offset by building this tank on a higher natural elevation. This style of tank is among the least expensive to construct and maintain. In a similar vein, concrete storage tanks take full advantage of the convenience of having a tank on the ground level. Compared to steel ground storage tanks, they have much fewer maintenance costs, but have far higher repair costs. Beyond this, concrete storage tanks do not last indefinitely like steel water tanks and eventually need to be retired. Though this is by no means a comprehensive list of all the types of water storage tanks available, we hope that this guide can be a good introductory resource when choosing your next water storage tank. Water towers are an incredible feat of engineering that ensure a safe, plentiful water supply for our cities and municipalities. When cared for properly, these tanks can live and operate for decades or even centuries. For all of your water tower maintenance needs, be sure to call Southern Corrosion, the industry leader in water tower maintenance, care, and painting.